You can never start holiday preparation too early. In this video, I'll show you how to create holiday labels in Google Docs. We'll see how to add an image and text to your labels and then I'll show you how to print them. Whether you want holiday address labels or gift tags for Christmas or food labels, you can add a personal touch to your loved ones with custom labels for the holidays. Open a new document in Google Docs and leave it blank. This document will be used to create and print your holiday labels. Now go to Extensions and select Create and Print Labels, Create Labels, and off you go. Uh, if you don't have the add-on installed yet, you can install Label Maker from the Google Workspace Marketplace. You can find the link to install it in the description below. So once you've installed the add-on, you should refresh your browser to make sure everything is working. In the Label Maker sidebar, click on Select a Template on the right side of the page. You'll be presented with several template options. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create holiday stickers using the Avery template uh, 5160, which is right here. Click on it and then off you go. We're going to want to add images to our stickers. To do this, you'll need to insert a table into the first cell of the document, so that's the cell with the black borders. The table will help us align the text with the image. You can skip this step if you don't want to insert an image into your holiday stickers. To insert a table, place your mouse in the first cell with the black borders. Then decrease the font to one, you want to do that to make sure that everything fits nicely. Then you go on to insert and then click on table and select two columns right here. Now that you've got a table in the first cell, you can insert the image that you want. To do that, you click on to insert, then click on image, upload from your computer. So make sure you've got it um, in handy. We're just going to go ahead and select the first one here, holidays and then you are done. You want to make sure that you decrease the size so that it doesn't change the size of your label overall. Um, you can type your text in the right side, so in the right column, you will be able to change the font, change the size and change the color. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a copy paste here. So you see I've changed the font, the size and the color. Now you can remove the black borders of the table because we don't them to show up on our labels. To do that, you go and drag your mouse from the bottom right corner to the top left corner of the table. And then you click on more just here and then select the border width to zero and they've disappeared. When you're satisfied with the design of your label, then click on create labels in the label maker sidebar. If you want to print a full page of the labels that look the same, then make sure that you've clicked or ticked on to use first cell as a model. Wait a few minutes and then you'll be able to move on to the next step. Now go ahead and open document. When you move on to the printing phase, you'll want to make sure that everything is perfect before printing your celebration labels. If you're having alignment issues, check out our guide to correcting misaligned labels. The link can be found in the description. All right, now our stickers are ready. Uh, to print them, just go ahead and click on print. And then in the print dialog here, Make sure that you set the um, paper size to letter if you're using a letter format. Set the margins to none and set your scale to 100. You're all done, just click print and your holiday labels are all set. 